Breaking news this evening, demonstrations and destruction happening in Seattle. This is a live look from Sky King at Capitol Hill right now, which has been the epicenter of conflict tonight. This afternoon, we've seen police work to disperse protesters and protesters have allegedly been throwing things at police. And at least one officer, SPD says, has been sent to the hospital. Police say 16 people so far have been arrested for things like assaulting officers, also obstruction, failure to disperse. And it follows an afternoon of demonstration as well as vandalism. Take a look at these images. Some construction trailers were set on fire this afternoon, which is right near the new Children and Family Justice Center on Capitol Hill on 12th. We have team coverage for you today. Our Michael Crow is live on Capitol Hill, but we want to get right to our Kayla Lafferty, also on Capitol Hill. Kayla, what are you seeing? Well, we are on Pine and Broadway right now. Um, the, the protesters were about a block down, but they did move up this way to Pine and Broadway, and you can see that they're still moving, actually. Um, we haven't seen any pepper spray have been, been used in the last 20 or 30 minutes or so. Uh, right when... Um, our show ended and we went to nightly news. They did use some of that uh, pepper spray again. They deployed some of those flash bangs, but then things did quiet down, calm down for a little while longer. Um, but earlier we did see someone get arrested. They were taken into custody. It looked like some of the protesters were cheering for them as they were taken into a van by SPD and led away. But pretty much all we're seeing right now is SPD on the line. Those protesters continuing to move uh, more towards the east precinct, but it is relatively calm as of now. We can see some people with their um, umbrellas that they have out a little bit farther down towards where that line is, where those uh, police officers are. Um, but of course, we had followed this march all day long as they had started around two and then continued through Capitol Hill around to the uh, youth detention facility. Um, where that fire was set. We were there the whole time. The protest was extremely peaceful until that moment when things kind of took a turn. Um, and now this has been going on for the last couple of hours. We're going to walk a little bit closer to the crowd here. You can see there's stuff littered all over the ground. There's some gloves, um, some leftover flashbang pieces, stuff like that. We have seen some of those um, People identifying themselves as medics that were washing eyes out of people that had uh, experienced some of the pepper spray that these officers were using. But like I said, we're getting a little bit closer to the East Precinct now, which we had moved down the roadway, but now these protesters are moving closer to the East Precinct. But that's kind of all we're seeing for now, Vanessa. Now, Kayla, we've seen this back and forth happening along Pine Street where it looks like police, you know, push protesters back, but then the protesters are pushing the police back. Is, is that what you've been seeing since you've been on Capitol Hill? I think that's a really great description of what's been happening. Um, earlier, when we first got to this area from where the fire was, we walked up to this area on Pine. We were in right here where these protesters now are, where the Black Lives Matter mural is in the area that formerly was chopped. And then they were pushed farther down, um, three or four, I'd say, blocks down. But now they've come back this way. And um, we did see police moving backwards. They do have, you know, a vehicle with them. Police were marching backwards as these protesters were kind of pushing forward a little bit. But it has been, I'd say, more peaceful. I don't know why we're moving back towards this direction. But uh, that is what we've noticed kind of back and forth here along Pine. Kayla, thank you. We're going to go now to our Michael Crow, who's been stationed at Pine and Broadway, I believe. Now, Michael, we've seen a lot of activity. Uh, you know, the police line was held there. We've seen a lot of back and forth between officers. What are you seeing on Pine and Broadway now? Yeah, and, and really kind of a moment of calm here, right? Protesters had been kind of engaging with the police uh, down at Pine and Harvard, just a block there behind me. They were, you know, on their knees laying down, making a, a sense of protest there. That cleared out a couple of minutes ago, actually. The police moved out, rolled their tactical vehicle up the road. We have, of course, this afternoon been hearing that SPD has used pepper spray. They've used those blast balls, those explosives that they use to disperse crowds. Of course, 16 arrests we've been hearing. Uh, but it's dynamic here and it's moving around. So you're looking right down Pine here in Capitol Hill into uh, the former chop, right? This was that core zone where protesters took over the road. And you can see there is a pretty good crowd forming there about a block uh, west of the East Precinct right now. That's where police 
are holding the line, so to speak, right now. You can see the crowd uh, just a block down there. We did watch as protesters over the last maybe 10 minutes have moved more down that way. It looked like the line was here at Broadway. Now it has moved back here. Again, some crowd dispersal tactics have been used today. We've been, we've been seeing pepper spray and, of course, those blast balls. Uh, we have not, from Amy Moreno, who was on scene most of the afternoon, filled me in. We have not seen tear gas yet, per her uh, reporting, but uh, that, of course, because the chief has promised that they will not use tear gas uh, to disperse crowds this weekend. So we're kind of monitoring the situation here. It is, I mean, I don't see acts of violence right now. We see mostly people engaging with the police down there, kind of holding that line and, and confronting them. Uh, just about a block from that east precinct where police, of course, have a very heavy presence. You can see a lot of vehicles parked in the road there, but that's what we know right now. It is obviously a developing situation, but uh, pretty much all quiet as far as things go here uh, at Pine and Broadway.